Hi everyone and welcome, it's Raymondo here. So uh, I've had a couple of people ask me a few questions um, on the videos that I've done this last uh, few weeks uh, to the Albert Costello Hotel and uh, the places we ate at. Um, just wanting to know how you get to the places and um, I was asked about the scooter rental as well. So I'll just, uh, we'll just quickly dive into that. There's a couple of things I want to talk about. Um, regarding supermarkets and things like that as well. So if you're staying at the Albert Castillo or you're staying at the Barcelo, which is probably the two most popular places, I think a lot of people also stop up here at the K Beach, Calais, which is quite popular as well. Um, the first question was about the restaurants and how you get to them. So if you stop in at the Albert Castillo, there's a couple of really good ones. Um, so the first one we'll talk about is the Dog and Duck pub, which is here. Uh, it's a fantastic little pub. You can see by the ratings it gets. It's a brilliant little pub. It's They're very welcome in there. They do have really good quality pool tables, but younger people aren't allowed to go on them. Um, and it's definitely a good place to go for a drink at night. Obviously, if you're all-inclusive, you, you will stick to these bars, but uh, certainly worth popping in there. Um, if you're in the area, it's a fantastic little place to have a drink. So if you come up this road here, the Sanchez Velasquez, or Velasco, and you come all the way up to the top here, you'll go past this place called Bailey's Gym. It's a big gym. So if you're looking at, if you're actually looking for a good quality gym, yeah, there's one called Bailey's um, up the road here, but I, I don't know if uh, you have to be a member or not. But we walk past it another quick look in there because I've got family that actually live in the area. So, uh, yeah, um, the pickled palm that that was one of the ones. So, right near Bailey's Gym, you'll find the pickled palm. It's it's small and it's in a little square here. And you're going to find Scott's Calf Bar, and then you've got the pickled palm next to it and the saxophone bar, which gets uh, really good views. Uh, and then you've got a couple of little things dotted around here. It's a great little square, so if you want to come out for a, a, a nice meal, uh, Pickle Palm, definitely recommend it. Uh, from there, uh, we go down into town. And obviously, you've got the main square here. This is where most people come for the meals, yeah? So, if we end up down into the centre here, this, well, I think before we get to that, I'd better explain these to you. So as you're coming down from the Albert Castillo, the bottom corner here, you've got a couple of pubs. So you've got uh, the Trafalgar, you've got Bar Gory, Bar Studs. So we, we went to Bar Studs a few times, uh, and but they have um, all the screens up for the football and stuff there, and you will get a cheap pint there, and it does say it's like the sort of cheapest pint in the town. It's not, but um, it's pretty close to being the cheapest, and it's definitely the best place for the football outside. If we head up the road here and go right up to where um, Kings is, you've got Fado Rock Steakhouse. Absolutely fantastic place. Uh, part of my video, I showed that um, for a fantastic meal. You get massive portions there, guys and girls. You get a massive portion if you go there. Uh, the other place that we went to a few times was the King's Bar, which is basically, it's opposite the steakhouse. So where the Fado Rock is, if you go opposite the road, you will find, um, well, there's loads of bars here, guys. Just, you, you won't have a problem finding somewhere to drink in here, trust me. Um yeah, it's it's the, it's here basically. It's on the corner. You go up some stairs, and yeah, they have loads of big screens in there. So again, loads of football on, uh, but it's beautiful inside, and they do amazing two for one cocktails there. Um, another one I want to tell you about, which I never actually mentioned in my video, but it's deserving a mention, is Restaurant Fifteen in Future Ventura. Now we didn't actually get a chance to go to it this time. But what happens at Restaurant 15 is they have the top, they have 15 items, basically 15 um, meals 
on the restaurant uh, and you pick one of the 15 meals. So if you go to the dishes, they will have 15. That's my understanding. 15 dishes. And I do believe that's why it's called bar 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there you go. So yeah, uh, 15 meals. So bar 15, where they do 15 meals, or restaurant 15, sorry. So yeah, another uh, place to recommend. There's all sorts of places, guys, really, in here. There's uh, this um, small place called Burgers Gourmet. They're not bad either. Now, if you want a cheap drink, cheaper than the bars down the bottom of Trafalgar and Studs, we found the cheapest place to get a drink was here in this square. Um, you're in the sun most of the time. I can't remember how much it was now. I think it was 150 or 160 a pint there. Um, so, yeah. It was, I think it was a little, I'm not sure if it was bar, little bar Havana that was doing it or not. But it was in this area here anyway. Uh, okay, going up from there. Restaurant Ohana was the other one that we went to. Uh, lovely family that owned that and couldn't do enough for us. Um, and gave the kids loads of sweets. I'm not saying they'd do that for you, but they did that for us. They were fantastic. And then you got around the corner from it. You got the Lord Nelson, which is there, and obviously Ohana, where we went to. So yeah, uh, okay, so that's those pubs. I better mention these down here. So you've got the main drag here. The, so you've got the Goose and Firkin, which is really good. You've got a 60s bar, which is really good. And then here, if you want to come here to Perio, Pio, Pio, Piero's Cafe and Restaurant, it does fantastic entertainment at night, but you need to make sure you get here early. You need to make sure you're early for this, otherwise you're not going to get a seat. But yeah, definitely recommend going here at night. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. And they have singers, really good singers on there. So highly recommend that place. And there's one more place I want to recommend if you're in the area, and that's this little place here called the Beach Calf. Uh very welcoming people there. A uh, lovely little cafe just right on the beach. To be fair, I mean, if you come in to Calafus, you're going to find lots of places to eat and lots of places to drink. So, um, you know, you're not going to have a problem with that at all. There's lots and lots and lots of places. Um, okay, so I've mentioned the um, the restaurants that we went, that we uh, go to and that we've been to recently um we are coming back again next year so if anyone's got any top tips on other places to go and eat at please tell me but just bear in mind that i have got a family of fussy eaters i do have a family member that lives in the area and she recommends a lot of places to us uh, but we have got fussy eaters so eating local tapas for us is probably not going to be a thing <laughs> oh, we love tapas but the kids don't so I mean if somewhere that does both then yeah please let us know okay uh, so there's a shop right up here uh, probably ought to mention it called Brit Foods so if there's anything in particular you need that's British it's up uh, on the other end of uh, town there's a shop called Brit Foods we never got a chance to go to it but it apparently it's up here somewhere um so yeah, uh, that's uh, just a quick chat about the places that we ate at. So if you've seen the video, thanks. And if you haven't, then go check it out. And it will show you the dog and duck, Ohana's and... No, not the dog and duck. It will show you Pickle Palm, Ohana's and Fado Rock. But we did go to some of the others um, in the area. Right, uh, what was the other question? I was asked another question. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, I've been asked a question about car rentals. Okay. So, obviously, a lot of you are going to rent cars and you're going to pick it up at the airport. However, um, 
you do get if you book if you book a car with C car, you do some days get massive queues at the C car uh, point in Coletta de Fust. Uh, they usually are quite big queues. So what we do to avoid that, if we ever want to rent a car, we do have a family member that actually owns a car, so that helps us a lot. But if you do need to get a car from C car, my advice would be to rent your C car in Coletta de Fust. The C car rental is pretty much, you see where the goose and firkin is? It's pretty much just opposite. So across the road and go there to rent your car. Um, they'll guide you around to the garage. I'll show you where the garage is, but basically go there to collect your car. Uh, make sure you've got all the right documentation on you, your passport, your driver licenses, etc. You will need to come here to pick up your car. Uh, and then you will walk all the way around here and pick up your car from the rental terminal over this place here, which is not actually that far from uh, Ohana. But yeah, so got any confusion out, guys, you need to go to Seacar Castillo. Okay, that's where we picked our car from. It was dead, There was no, when we got there, there was no one queuing. So we eliminated the queue. The only thing is, obviously, if you're picking up from the airport, you want it to get you to the hotel. Um, whereas we don't we need that, we haven't got that problem. So we just collect it when we're in uh, Coletta de Fuss. So, yeah, uh, just wanted to mention that. I thought it was worth talking about. Uh, what else should we talk about? Well, I don't know if it's going to be on here or not. Someone's mentioned to me about um, having a... Arikito. Um There's obviously lots of places you can go for one of those drinks. It's um, but if you want to go for a day out, and you do go up into Betancura, I need to mention this place because I never actually, um, I never actually did. Uh, at this point, I've done a review on it yet. So yeah, so if you go into Betancura, that's the easiest way for me to show you show you the town. So if you go down the FV30, this, by the way, is a phenomenal place to book a meal as well. Let me just tell you. Let me just tell you that. So, there's a restaurant called the Casa Naturaliza. Here. Okay. This is one of the most beautiful restaurants on the island. I can't, I can't tell you how good this place was. Uh, and this is where I had the um, a drink made up for me, um, which is a special drink of the Canaries. It's like a coffee liqueur with cinnamon in it, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I've got a video coming up in the future of me having that to drink, and it's in this restaurant. Uh, and... I'm telling you, folks, this restaurant is absolutely top notch. It's abs honestly, it's amazing. But if you want to come here at night, make sure you book it. It gets really, really busy. It books up really fast. Um, but I can't tell you if you want to go out for a special meal and you've got um, you've got a car, then definitely get up here and get to this restaurant. Um, yeah, they have entertainment on um, on certain days. Definitely, definitely. There's a picture look just to show you. They have like a little stage surrounded by water. So yeah, I had to give that a special mention. It needed to be mentioned, folks. Uh, it's an absolutely phenomenal place. But anyway, yeah, I've got lots of um, lots of videos coming up in the future, um, taking us to different places. So. You will see that in one of the future videos when we do the walk up the Benita Stam. So, uh, yeah, that'll be coming in a few weeks' time. So, yeah, uh, I hope that helped. Uh, someone did ask me uh, another question about renting bikes. 
and scooters. Uh, I can tell you that from our experience, you've got bird bike rentals, which are all over the place at the moment, uh, usually parked up near the Albert Castillo on the corner here. You need like an account and a card, and you get charged by the minute for that one. Uh, and here, there's a place called Electric Speed the Shop. They're brilliant, these are. They do uh, scooter rentals and bike rentals, and well, they rent all sorts. They even rent buggies a lot. So if you need a disability buggy, uh, they do them there, Electric Speed. So it's right next to, or basically, it, it's in the, comp in, in the complex. Of Elba Castillo. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. Oh, uh, no, one more thing somebody has asked me a question on, and that's about buying food. So there's a couple of places you, you can obviously go to buy food here. The hotels obviously all have their own. There's a tiny little off license opposite the Elba Castillo here on the corner. It's called the Vita Supermarkets there, look. So it's right on this corner. They drew drinks in there, pretty cheap. So, um, oh, and this Cafe de Town's brilliant as well. Should mention that. <laughs> uh, yeah, right here on this corner. So if you need to go to any shops locally to walk, basically, basically back around where I've just told you the Trafalgar is, uh, and Studs, there's a Hyperdino Express just across the road. And then if you wanted a slightly bigger one, you keep on going up that road. There's another one a bit further up. Another big IPD now. Okay. But uh, if you need to go further afield. Now, my understanding is if you're at the Albert Castillo, there is a bus service that will take you to the other Albert Hotel. Which is over near the Central Commercial Atlantico. And here you're going to find a big Euro Spa. And also, these beaches are absolutely amazing. So if you just want to get the free shuttle bus to the other Elba Hotel, you can walk from there, just down here to, um, oh, the Elba Sarah Beach there, look. You've only got to walk up and you're in the Central Atlantico, okay? So um, you won't have to go far to the big shopping centre and these beautiful beaches. Now, if you're staying at Elba Resort, this Elba um, shuttle bus that brings you up to the Sarah Beach, do you, I do believe that's where it takes you, it's free. It's only free though, if you're staying at one of those hotels. Um, and then you can nip to the shopping centre and you can nip into the Euro Spa. Uh, failing that, if you've got a car, you can go up to Mercadona and Lidl, uh, which is, they're next to each other, basically. Um, just out of town. You'll, you'll pass it when you come from the airport. So that's it, everyone. I uh, just wanted to bring you this video. Um, I hope I, I've not spoke too quickly and you've been able to understand what I've said. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've got loads of more videos coming up um, on the channel. Uh, lots of different places that I've been to. Uh, and so if you want to check those out, just check out the playlist. So that's it, everyone. Thank you very much for listening to me. Um, I do appreciate your time. And if you come in to Future Insurer, have an amazing holiday. Thank you. Goodbye.